The family of a local man shot to death while driving near her Seminole County neighborhood back in May is hoping for the break that will lead to closure. Police are still struggling to generate leads, and today some of the man's family members reached out to West Chief's Dave McDaniel, hoping to generate new interest in the unsolved murder case. It was the family of a local man who found his body back in May. They'd reported him missing, and then they went searching. They found him, shot to death, out in the middle of the orange grove, still in his car, the engine still running. You tore our family apart. You, you, you really took something away that we can't have back. A clearly emotional sister hoping whoever is responsible for the death of Willie Posley will hear her voice. We can't let it go. We live this every day. In mid-May, the day after the family reported Willie missing, they found him hundreds of feet into an orange grove bordered by Beardall Avenue. It had appeared he had been shot while driving, perhaps even trying to escape an attack. No arrests have been made. And this is wrong. Willie didn't deserve this. And, and we just want some answers. As a family, we want answers. And that's his daughter, Willow. Willie Posley had been married three months, but had been in a steady relationship for years. The father of four didn't have any enemies, according to his family, was not a guy in trouble. None of it makes sense to them. They feel someone can give them the break they need in this case. If you know something, I feel like, and you hold back, it kind of just as guilty as the person who did it. And it's not about telling on someone, snitching on someone. It's about what's right and what's wrong. And I don't, I don't think it's fair for them to run free while we have to endure what we have to do. For the family of Willie Posley, they don't want this case to end with the memorial on the side of the road. They want it to end with someone held accountable. They want somebody to land in court. Reporting in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.